What's going on, folks? Once again, I'm Neff from the Neff Sackbits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. But don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And being from the internet, I know my way around routers and PCs. So today, I want to be checking out this Lenovo M70S unit. This particular unit's a small form factor, of course. As you can see, we are happily locked in with the Core i5 9th or 10th generation. We'll see in a second. Over here next to the Colonel's smiling face, we can see the new front we got on here. Got a nice grill going on. Over on the side, we can see we have the power button, uh, microphone, headset, and then a spot for a micro SD or SD card that no one will ever use because it's not actually there, I, I, I think. I mean, I've been cutting at this thing for a while and nothing's been coming out. We got some USB-C. Those are getting super popular and four ports on the front. Well, on the backhand side, you can see, of course, we got the uh, single hookup for audio. We have two displays and one HDMI. That can really make a big difference, but I'm missing the VGA. Right here, you can see we have a serial port. Why well, give us a serial port, not a VGA? Why? And then four more USBs, one network, and then, of course, the breakout expansion area. A uh, quick look on the inside will show us the power. We got a spot for one more for an internal video card and a PCI Mini. And over here we got the power. And it looks like the output is in Japanese. Oh wait, there it is. 100 to 240 volts, so you're not going to be able to get too much power injected this sucker. Okay, so we got a new method of getting inside of this that I'm not the biggest fan of. But anyways, once we pull this thing up, looks like we can take that off all the way if we want. But we can see we got the RAM down there. We got four spots for RAM and we got the M.2 card right down there. Looks like we got enough room for two M.2 cards. You can't see it from here, but there's a port right next to it too. And we have three SATA locations. We got 12 logical cores. I had to recount. That's a lot of cores. Uh, 10th generation Intel UHD graphics, 630. And we got 8 gigs RAM. I remember a really long time ago, I told my buddy that I was getting a 250 gigabyte hard drive. And he looked at me with disgust. Who would ever use 250 gigabytes? I guess that just means I'm old like you, eh, skelly beans? Next up, let's do the Passmark Benchmark 10 Benchmark. DirectX 9 not looking too bad. We're getting about uh, 18, 19 frames per second. We got DirectX 10 going by at about uh, 5 frames per second. And here we got DirectX 11 going by at uh, about 18 frames per second. Yes, I have a tripod. I just choose not to use it. And here we got DirectX 12 blasting by at 12 frames per second. You hear that noise in the background? That's my wife uh, draining the uh, water out of the bathtub. Of course, it only happens when I'm doing hardware reviews. Thus is the life of the basement dweller, right, Colonel? Okay, so that score ain't so bad. It's about the same as I would get with an i7 from the 6th generation. This is about what you could expect to get for the money. And of course, this is a Lenovo, so uh, you know the older ladies' knees are going to get really weak when they see this because they know you're not all about the LEDs, you're all about the form factor, you're all about the hardened edge of the Lenovo professionality system. Next up, we're testing out Fortnite in performance mode. Everything's set to medium. I've got, uh, geez, I did have about 80 frames per second. Now I'm starting to descend at about uh, 40 frames per second. I gotta say, without a video card, I'm really impressed with the power of this thing down. I swear, I've run, I've run ninth generation chips recently that haven't been this. Now, one thing I absolutely love to do is grief people by dropping with them and just going after. Results may vary. Oh, I think he knows. Oh, yeah, he knows what's going on. Don't run. Don't run. Got him. Oh, I love doing that. Look how close to a gun he was, too. Poor bastard. <laughs> All right, so I'm wandering around town at just about 50 frames, 50, 60 frames per second. I got to say, this isn't bad. Once again, all the settings are on game, chose media. Oh, poor guy. He didn't even have a gun. I feel kind of bad for killing him to have weapons. Unless I'm going after them with a pit pickaxe, in which case I don't care. Take that. Oh, wow. Must be my lucky day. I'm just making so many friends this round. Normally, I can't even find anyone to fight this early on. Oh my god, I got so far only to be killed by this camp or camping out by wreck. What the heck? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, the system ain't so bad. Uh, without a GPU, I'm actually really impressed with what I see here. Um, I definitely can recommend this system. It's definitely a lot better than the last i5. That must have been a Generation 9 that I was using. It did not look and play as well as this one. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get, sucker. 
Oh, who's a good kitty? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Neff from Neff's Tech Pets. Like, subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated, folks. Always appreciated. More importantly, folks, take care of each other, will you? Have a good one.